my initial thought was I'm going to do an install video for this on the 2011 Wide Glide here with my wife's dirty car in the background. But uh, unfortunately, I've run into a small problem. Now, I'm still going to get this set up and get the bike going, but I won't get to mount it on the bike like I anticipated. Problem is, I upgraded to some DNA monster bars, which are an inch and a half thick, and as you can see, this is a little too small. So, for the time being, I'm, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, remove the FP3, and then I'll hook up the, uh, the Dino Vision and go ahead and tune the ECM. And just go from there. I'm going to look and see uh, if they have an option for bigger bars, you know, later on. Because I would like to get it mounted up there for a while anyways, just to kind of toy around with it. Because I do like to toy around with stuff. So, uh, I'm just going to get started on this. I am not a professional by any means. If you've seen any of the few other videos I have, you probably know that already. So, anyhow. Uh, actually, I was going to take my seat off. But I don't even need to do that now. This is going to be like super simple. All I'm going to have to do is remove the, F the FP3. And uh, this will be done because that's actually simple. I'm just going to take our cover off. She's slightly dirty. Here's the FP3. Now earlier, uh, I don't know if I'm going to put it, if, if I put it on there or not. If you've made it to this point, you know already. Uh, but I hooked up on my phone to the FP3 and I went ahead and I put the original tune that was on the back when I got it, uh, back on. I took the, uh, the auto tune from the FP3 off of the back. This is four pin connector. This is your FP3. That's all that dude is. There's no wires. That's the one reason I went with it initially, uh, for the Bluetooth connectivity to my phone. They both have their pros and cons. I'm not really going to get into a whole lot of that now. Uh, but right now, we're just going to hook this sucker up. And it's going to be basically as simple as plugging it into the ECM and turning this dude on. Plug her in. Make her click. All right. Like I said, initially, I was going to mount this to the bars. But, uh, that's not going to happen this time. Let's go ahead and power on. Turn it the right way. Now, I bought this from Fuel Moto. I didn't buy it straight from DinoJet. So, I gave them my configuration, which it's a 90, uh, 96-inch 2011 model. It's got a Arlen S Monster Sucker and the Vance and Hines Big Shots. All right, we're going to accept. Now, this should be as simple as going to program vehicle. Yes, off-road only. All right, now you've got load tune, auto tune. We're going to hit that later, I'm sure. But what we're going to do is load tune. Now, if you just buy it from DinoJet, they've got thousands of configurations for different bikes. You just check DinoJet pre-configured tune, um, and that should be on there. Like I said, I did plug this into the computer, and I had there was a couple of firmware updates, but that was it. So, because I got this from Fuel Moto, there should be one on custom tunes. So let's see what we have here. All right, 100% complete. This will marry this power vision to the bike permanently and cannot be undone. Is that what you want to do? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, that's the available tune. So this is the one. Uh oh. Well, how do I? <laughs> okay my fingers are a little dirty but there we go yes all right that's the one they they made for me at fuel moto send this tune to the ecm now when i do this it said it's going to go ahead and uh and it probably already did it's gonna whatever tune i have on the back currently before i flash this it is going to save it onto the system if i do want to go back at a later date do you want to reset learn fuel trim values there were so we're gonna load this up and I believe it said about 10 seconds turn the bike off for 10 seconds all right waiting for ECU to restart 
All right. Ten seconds. Ten seconds is subjective to the person counting. All right. Now that should have everything set up. Unless I just completely botched it. That's what I was going to say about between the FP3 and this. It does say it's married forever. But you can... Uh, I want to say it's about 200 bucks. You can call them and they will send you an unlock code. And you can unlock this. Sell it to someone else if you sell your bike. Um, and you can reuse that on a different bike. You just have to pay the 200 bucks. Let's see if she starts... Does sound different than when the FP3 was running. Well, all I know to do is uh, kill it, unhook this booger, and go see what happens. I will be back with an update. All right, we're gonna take it for a short ride right now. It's getting dark, and I got some people coming over, so. Let's see if I've noticed any differences. Well, so far, that takeoff was, uh, it felt a little more responsive. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> no way. There's no way there's that much difference. Okay, I'm gonna let my brain reset just for a moment. Right off the bat, uh, that sucker's pulling me back uh, quite a bit more. I'm going through residential here, I need to slow my butt down, but son of a gun. How is that even possible? <laughs> when I got the bike, it had a stage one. It had the uh, the high flow filter from Harley. I guess it was the Screaming Eagle filter in the stock breather. It had um, the big shots with the stock mufflers. And then that was it. You know, they, they flashed their, their stock tune you know, whatever Harley has for it. And, uh, well, that's it. The guy put about 1,600 miles on it, sold the bike, and, uh, that was that. When I bought it, uh, I didn't buy the FP3 right away. I waited about a year. I've had it about a year and a half now, I guess, or so. Uh, this, the FP3, well, no longer have it. But, um, Oh, thank you. My God. <laughs> oh, Sunny Biscuit. That's, uh... That's all right. Like I was saying, uh, all I did to it, I put the, bought the quiet baffles, uh, put those in, and they felt way too restrictive for me. So I uh, pulled them out, and there's just a cap that's got three tack welds on the end of the, on the actual front of the baffle that goes into the pipe. Cut those off, smoothed it out, stuck them back in, and I haven't looked back. The, the sound isn't quite as tinny as with the, uh, 
the uh, stock baffles but it's of course it's not quite like the stock baffles are but it doesn't have that uh, feeling of restriction uh, like it's all subjective everybody has a different taste and whatnot but for me that suited me just fine I'm gonna I was gonna leave them like they were um, but man it even with auto tunes on the FP3 crap <laughs> my gas mileage is about to get a whole lot worse man that is nuts i'm beside myself right now i don't <laughs> i really don't know what to tell you i just hope that this uh i just hope this video is coming out because lately i've had problems with the sound but uh initial reaction if you've got an fp3 or if you're on the fence between the fp3 or the power vision just get the power vision man this is straight from fuel moto they gave me the tune i told them what i had arlen s monster sucker i modified the baffles on my big shots it's stock other than that i do want to go cams later that's one reason i went ahead and went with the dyno jet yes you can do that with the fp3 but uh holy crap <laughs> i uh <laughs> man that's that's flipping amazing throttle response right off the bat uh is is better <laughs> and uh oh my god <laughs> get your ass off the computer and go buy a power a power vision <laughs> Man, that's a bad mofo right there. Like I said, go get one. FP3 is nice if you want to dink around town, but this sucker just woke up, and I thought she was was okay. Only thing I'm going to tell you is if you have the bigger bars, this mount's not going to work. So uh, <laughs> that just made my damn day. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go think about some stuff. <laughs> Appreciate you watching, guys. Later.